Hello! Welcome to the first episode of my knitting podcast. Um, my name is Ariel. I live in Seattle, Washington. And um, yeah, so this is my knitting podcast. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I guess I wanted to start this video podcast because I really love to knit and I only recently found um, on YouTube other people doing video knitting podcasts and I didn't know it was a thing and so I kind of like binge watched a whole bunch of people um, and I really really like the layout. I just really enjoy watching and hearing about what other people are making, um, what they like about knitting, um, the yarn that they're using and all of that and so I thought I'd want to join in on the fun join in on the community and start a little um, video podcast uh, for myself too. And I think it'd be great to kind of also document like what I'm doing and when kind of for myself too, just in case no one decides to watch this, which is totally fine. Um, I think this will feel a bit kind of like I'm talking to some friends about knitting, um, which is always fun. I love talking about knitting, so I think this would be um, just a great outlet for me to do that. Um, so yeah, I guess some background on how I started knitting. I, um, when I was in, I think it was third grade, I don't know what made me want to do it, but I got myself a little knitting kit um, to learn how to knit, and then I kind of just knit a whole bunch of things. I remember knitting cardigans, knitting some bags, some felted bags, and, and some, I don't know, like, definitely scarves. I feel like that's a good, like, first project. Um, and I learned a little bit how to crochet too. I made some little like amigurumi, like animal things. Um, and then I think around middle school, so this, this was elementary school and I knitted a bunch. And then in middle school, my interest changed to music. I played flute, played flute from middle school all the way through college. And music was pretty much my life. Um, really loved that and had such a great time and then you know went to college um, went to grad school and then I got a job right at the beginning of 2020 and then we all had to start working from home so I was home a lot more I am I am a, very much an introvert and so I actually really enjoyed being home but I still felt like I kind of wanted to do something and so I I noticed people started to knit, like I, I noticed like on Instagram and stuff that people were starting to knit. And I was like, I remember that I used to knit, so maybe I can pick that back up. So as my first project, um, getting back into knitting, I made a cardigan and I loved it so much. And I bought myself, I remember, I bought myself, after that first project, I was like, I'll just make sure I buy one pair of needles and the yarn make the project to see if it's even something I want to like keep doing after. Loved it so much, I bought myself a whole interchangeable needle set after because I was like, yeah, I'm going to be doing this for a long time. So, and then, yeah, kind of the rest is history on that. So, I love knitting so much. I knit all the time, really. And, um, yeah, I love yarn, so, um, yeah, I also do a little bit of crochet. I'll probably so show some crochet projects at some point when I do have them. Um, so I crochet a little bit. I wouldn't say I'm great at it. Like every time I want to do a crochet project, I have to go back and kind of like relearn like how do you do a single crochet, how do you do a double crochet and all of that. So, But I do also like to crochet. Um, and then I recently picked up sewing. So I got myself a sewing machine and I made actually a few dresses already and that was I love the end product. I don't think I like sewing as much as knitting and crocheting and like doing yarn things, but um, I think it's growing on me. So I think we'll see a lot more sewing in the future from me. So yeah, so I just love crafting. Sorry, I think I've been saying so and um a lot, but yeah. Okay, so I guess we're, I guess we can start with what I am wearing because I decided to wear something that I did knit. This is the Kutar top by Sari Nordlin. I actually was super lucky and I got to test 
knit this for her. Um, so I'll stand up so you can see it a little better. I really like the neck line and just like the overall lace pattern of this top. And the bottom is a nice, um, what is it called, like a folded hem. I actually really like the look of that. Um, yeah, so I really just like this top. Um, I made it out of Knit Picks cotton um, in the it's fingering weight and it's um, the bare, like it's not a, there's no color, so it's just white. Um, but yeah, so that is what I'm wearing. Um, it is summer here and it's pretty hot, so I've been really into the summer knits. As you might be able to tell with what I'm working on, my knitting stuff is on the side here for me to show you, but um, yeah, I've been really into making some summer tops lately. I think last year I didn't really make too many summer tops, but this year I'm really going hard at the, uh, the um, summer knits. Um, but yeah, so with that, I guess I'll lead into showing you some of my work in progress or my whips. Um, so yeah, let's get started there. Mm. Okay. And also, if I keep looking this way, it's because I, I do have some notes because I can't remember like everything about things, so hopefully that's not too annoying. Um, but okay, so this is the first one I want to show you. It is a test knit, so it's currently in testing, but I am so, so excited about it because it is going to be the first dress that I knit. So here it is. I'm working on the skirt right now, so I'm almost done, but you know, I still, still have a ways to go but this is the dress it has really cute puff sleeves and lots of ruffles I love ruffles they're a pain to make because they just feel like they take forever but I love ruffles love the end result um, so this is the Daphne dress and this is by Phoebe from Friday Knits and I am just I just love this design so much this is the back. Yeah, I'm super excited about this. So the yarn that I am using for the main body and the skirt, this pink one, it is this Wool and the Gang, the one merino. Let's see if we can make it focus. Maybe not. But yeah, Wool and the Gang in the color Cameo Rose. So just a really nice like baby pink color. Um, yep. And then my favorite part that I've already been talking about, the sleeves and the ruffles. Oh, that color is so, it's so nice. I am using Explorer Knits and Fibers um, Suri Alpaca Lace in the colorway Summer Solstice. And this is it in skein form. Eee! And it's so soft. So the pattern actually um, says to use mohair, but mohair makes me a little bit itchy. Um, and then I discovered Suri. And I just love Surrey. I want to use it with literally everything, every single project. Um, but yeah, so this is it in Surrey. And I super love this color so much. This was actually the first thing I got from Explorer Knits. Um, actually, I ordered from her um, Ireland collection. Um, but it didn't, that order didn't come in yet. And then she had some summer solstice out and so I got that and this came before my Ireland collection so this was like my first first skein I ever got um, from her and I love it so much so yeah super excited that I got to use this on my Daphne dress yeah so I can't wait for that to get finished okay all right the next one I want to talk about is a tank top and this is from the design is from sorry same designer as from the tank top I'm wearing right now this is the aerial top naming has nothing to do with me but because it was my name I I love the design but then I was like I definitely have to make it because it's named Ariel and my name is Ariel um, so yeah so this is what it looks like it works bottom up and it's an all over lace design. And the reason why she called it Ariel is because the lace design kind of looks like mermaid tails. I think it's really pretty. 
And the yarn I'm using for this is from Woolberry Fiber and um, it is the colorway I Don't Doubt, the Anna um, colorway, the Anna inspired colorway from her Downton Abbey collection, which I was so ex excited about. And it's also the first, um, it's the first collection, it's the first yarn order I made to, or from Woolberry. And so when it came in, I was super excited. And so this is it in the cake form. So it's a nice pink and it has some dark magenta color in there, purple, and some green speckles. And so I really like that and I think it's going to look super cute um, in this design. So working on that. Okay, um, the next one I want to talk about is, and apologies if I am mispronouncing this, but it is the Pampa Shawl by um, Paula from Jojo um, Trico. I think that maybe, I have no idea. But yeah, so this is the start of it. I did start it and of course it's not done because I'm showing you my whips. Um, but yeah, I love how this is working up. I like that it's simple. Um, but it's still interesting to work up. So every three rows it changes from the pearls to the knits. But since you're working back and forth, you're really kind of only doing, I think you do like knit, pearl, knit, knit, pearl, knit, or something like that. You don't really have to do that many pearl rows, which is super nice. Um, so yeah, I just have to keep going, going at it for the shawl. But I'm really excited because the end, um, at the, the very end at the border, it gets a really nice like ruffle and I really like that look so I'm super excited to finish this. And the colorway I am using for this, or the yarn I'm using, it's from Woolberry, again, also from the Downton Abbey collection, but this one is Sympathy Butters No Parsnips and I have it in skein form here. Hope the camera focuses please, maybe if I hide my face. But yeah, it's a very nice gray, purpley, some blue color in there. And I think it's really pretty. So I'm excited to finish that and to keep working on it. Okay. All right, and then I have another tank top that I've been working on. And this is the Lunch at Tiffany's Blouse by Anne Catherine. Um, and when this pattern came out, I knew I wanted to make it, but there was no yarn I had in my stash that was kind of like screaming at me like, oh, you should make it with this. Like, it looked really nice. So I was kind of waiting for the right yarn um, to come into my hands. And it finally did. So here's what it looks like. It looks super skinny because it's ribbed, um, but I did try it on and it fits, so it should be okay. Um, but yeah, because it's ribbed, it's just like really stretchy. But it's a nice v-neck tank top. Um, and it has, once you reach like over here, it turns into a one by one um, twisted rib, which I think is really cool so you have different kinds of ribbing um, for the texture yeah and this one's really funny because <clears throat> when I started it I was so excited I think I knitted all of this in like three days and then for some reason I was like oh I'm almost done and I was like hmm, I wanted to cast on something else um, so yeah so this one, <laughs> I, I could have finished this real quick but now it just kind of stalled out at the end but this was like last week so it's really not too bad that it's been kind of just hanging out on my needles um, but yeah, oh, the yarn that I'm using for this is, again, Woolberry, um, and it's in, I'm pretty sure the colorway is Creamsicle. I don't have the tags with me right now, but this is it in the caked up form of the yarn. And it's, I think the color name describes it perfectly. It's just a nice cream color with some orange and some pink. So really liking that and I think I really like how it 
it shows up in the um, the ribs kind of pattern. So I'm super excited about this too. Okay, and then my last whip that I'm showing, I actually have a couple more, but I decided this is enough to show for now. Um, this is the Moon Crush Tank by Jacqueline Seaslack. And when I hold it up like this, you're like, oh, it's done, but it's, it's actually just the front. So you work it, um, do the front and do the back. And the reason to, to do it this way and not in the round is because of the color work on here, or the, the way the color has the color blocks, I guess. You have to do some um, intarsia knitting, which is really cool. I think this is the second project where I've done intarsia knitting, so I'm still pretty new at it. But I really like how it, how this design is. Like, I really like it. Um, so yeah. And the yarns I'm using for this is Sorella yarn in three colors from her Summer Tonos collection. The colors are, um, this pink is Parasol, the brown is Teak, and the yellow is Golden Hour. And I'm actually using leftovers I had from my Amy cardigan, which I used five colors. Um, so yeah, so now I get to use the leftover yarns from those, the three, in this top. So yeah, hopefully sometime soon, while it's still like warm weather, I can finish this nice cropped tank to wear. Yeah. Okay, so that's it for the whips. Now I'll show you some of my um, finished objects or FOs. Um, and these are just ones that were pretty recent. So, because since this is my first episode, there's not really, I can't say what are new things that I finished from the last one because it's the first one. But I'll show um, some things that I finished recently. <clears throat> okay, so here's some socks. And okay, Sari is like one of my favorite designers. Um, so you'll probably be seeing a lot of her designs um, on here. But these are her peregrine socks and um, let's see if you can see the detail here I really like the cable pattern on this one and let me try and show like this front part because the diamond in here has a little cable too which I think is super cute and this sock is month three from her summer sock knit along. And I did it last year for the first time and I really liked it. So I'm doing it again this year. But yeah, so this was last month's sock, um, which was July. And I just finished these, I think maybe like a week ago. So really like that. And I learned recently how to do cables without using a cable needle and I, it's game changing, especially for like socks or ones that you have to do so many cables like really frequently. It's a game changer. Like I'm going to always do cables with no um, cable needle as long as it's not like, I don't know, something crazy. But yeah, use that technique for these and it was great because there's a lot of cables on this. But I like the look of these. And then I literally just finished these socks this morning. So they are not blocked, so they look a little... Hopefully next time I can show them blocked. They're looking a bit scrunched up. But these are this month's sock. Um, so again, by Sari Nordland. Sorry, Sari. Um, okay, so here's a close-up of them. It's another lace pattern. Oh, sorry, I don't think I said the name. This is... Um, the uh, store send socks so it has a nice lace pattern and like a nice I don't know how you like a eyelet like pearl row and I like that it creates like a wave which is really cool and I use three different colors so when oh, I forgot to mention the yarn so for both of these I use Sorella yarn and I believe so this green one um, is Jardin. I believe that's, I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's that colorway. It's from her spring tonals. 
And then for this one, the pink, uh, what is it? Okay, the pink is Boulangerie. This darker pink is Terracotta. And both of these were from her Spring Tonals. Um, and then this brown is Gold Rush, which is from her Taylor Swift collection. But I didn't get it when it came out, which I don't know why. Um, so I waited for the Greatest Hits collection when it came out in January, and I got that color. So yeah. So these are month four of the sock knit along. So I just need to block these, take some pictures, and yeah. Really happy I got to finish these today because that was my goal for today. All right, so enough with socks. I'll show you something else. Okay, I'm really excited about this one um, because when I saw this person post that they were going to, well, they posted some pictures of it while she was designing it, and I was like, I, I need it. I want to test it if I can, and if not, like, I'm going to buy it. I, like, need the pattern. It's so pretty. And, um, so yeah, this is the Zosha, I think that's how you say it, the Zosha Wrap Cardigan by Alex from Vair and Rose. And I'm so sorry, there's not really like a great way to show this, but, um, but here it is. Oh my gosh. Actually, let me show you just on the sleeve and here the stitch pattern. It's like it's like a ribbed pattern, but it has some, like, you pick up from three stitches under, so it creates, like, this nice, like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Just, like, a nice stitch pattern. And I just love how it looks. And, actually, maybe I should try it on, because then I could show, um, actually, how it looks. Because it's hard to, um, show it because... This has a huge um, tie and bow on it that made me love it too. Um, so while I try and figure out how to <laughs> put this on, um, I made this with, and it's funny because earlier I said that um, mohair makes me a little bit itchy, but I did make this with mohair. Um, this is Knitting for Olive um, Silk Mohair in the colorway Soft Rose, which is just a super nice light pink color. Okay, so as you can see, here, I'll stand up. So it wraps like that, and it has these really nice long ties that you can then tie into a really cute bow, like that. And yeah. So that's how it looks and fits on me. Um, I made the size extra small. Oh, and I don't know, I might have forgotten to mention that I um, I was super lucky and able to test knit this and I just finished this. I'm so excited and even though I am, I found mohair to be itchy in the past, like, I don't know, I don't know if it's just like the, the knit stitch or the texture, like because it's pretty airy, it doesn't feel itchy to me. Um, it actually feels really nice and soft, although I still think Surrey is softer, um, but this is definitely still wearable. Um, and I'm super happy with it. I'm, like, so excited. I just love it so much, and I like how it turned out. And I can't wait for the weather to get warmer so that I can actually wear it, because I am sweating now. <laughs> um, so I will take it off, but um, I love it so much. And so this is one of my, I mean, it's my most favorite thing that I have finished um, lately. Okay, and okay, while I was making this video, I actually got a delivery um, to my door, and it's knitting related, so I guess it's an impromptu unboxing video right at the end here. So if you know, you know. It's from Hello Lavender. I got some stitch markers. This is from her... Um, ice cream social collection she did with in collaboration with um, Explorer Knits. So let's open it now. I might cut out opening the box because it might take me a while and the sound might be kind of annoying but let's do that. Okay. Oh. There's two 
boxes. Okay. Okay. I wonder, since there's two boxes, I don't know which one's in which. <laughs> okay. So, I had to get, I had to get these. Oh, please focus. Oh my gosh, they're the ice cream sandwiches in earring form. <laughs> they're so cute. Oh, please focus. All right. Go, go. There we go. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. They're too cute. Okay. I'm I'm pretty much after I'm done making this video, I'm just going to stare at them some more, but okay. And then I did I did get stitch markers, so I'm pretty sure that's in the second box. Okay. Yee! Okay. So, of course, I had to get the ice cream sandwich cookie in stitch marker form too. Hope it doesn't take too long this time to focus. Please. There we go. So cute. And then I had to get one of the ice cream cone ones. And I just, I had to get the one with the cookie in it. Look how cute that is. Mmm. They're perfect. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, I'm gonna keep staring at these after we're done here. Um, yeah, perfect way to end the video. I was like, oh, I don't have an acquisition section for this video because I don't know what I'm gonna show. And then this showed up at my door. So, yeah. Well, I guess that's um, gonna be the end of my first episode here. Um, I don't know how often I will be posting. I guess we'll kind of just go with the flow and see how it goes. Um, again, I'm like, I'm not sure if anyone's really going to watch this. Um, but it might be good just for myself to keep track of kind of like things I'm working on and maybe I'll talk about some, I don't know, life stuff too and what's happening. Um, but yeah, um, this has been actually really fun to record. So I'm really excited to see where this goes. And, um, yeah, super excited to see all of the things um, that I will be knitting or crocheting or sewing or anything like that. So, thank you for watching if you did watch, and especially watch all the way till the end. And I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye!